Hey guys, in previous video I introduced that I used Grafana dashboard in my short URL application. So you can see here, I embed the dashboard on the page so that we can see the, the metrics of all the short URLs. So in this video, I like to create a dashboard for each uh, short URL so that the users can track the, the performance separately so they don't need to look into all of them uh, so this is a very common feature in most of the applications as well so let's see what we can do let's go to the, the dashboard i have already completed the change so so i will walk you through what i have done the feature i'm going to use is called variables in grafana if we click the dashboard setting icon we can see the variables section. I already created a variable called token. So if we click and see, I name as token, the type is text box. So there will be a text box on the dashboard allow user to enter some parameter or input to filter the dashboard. So the label is a display name. So I put it as short URL token, that's it. I can click update or if you are creating a new variable you click the button to to create it now you can click save dashboard or you can do it later so let's come back you can see here we have the label and uh, the text box so this is where we can enter the the token or hash of the short url to filter the metrics the next step is to click here the title of the panel there's a drop down menu then we edit in the query section in metrics browser here short url views is the metrics i'm using so i add the query parameter here type equal the expression so this is a regular expression I'm using the token variable just created. So it means when user enter nothing, all the metrics match. So it will be all of them will be displayed in the dashboard. Otherwise, it will only display the token or hash specific URLs metrics. Okay, this is what you have to do. Then you need to click apply. Now we are on this dashboard. And if I copy some token or hash and uh, press the enter key of the your keyboard, we can see the specific metrics in the dashboard. If we clear the input box, enter again, we see everything here. Now let's change uh, hash or token and now we see something different okay now it's time to to find the the embed link before that we need to click save dashboard button as your changes won't be saved until you click that button so you might see different changes the number of changes you applied at your end but for me there's only one so we save it now it's time for us to find the embed link we go to the panel and the, see the drop down menu share if we go to embed we can see here this is a link we can use to share there's a parameter called VR dash token. So this is a parameter we can use to pass a specific hash or token. Now you can see as I pass this one, we can see only one matrix in the dashboard. So this is how it works. We can also remove the from and two parameters that are not needed. If we don't pass it, we will see the default time range 
This is the thing I'd like to introduce before we really embed it into the application. So if you see here on the top right corner, we have a time range selector. If we want to change the default time range, we can choose one of them. Say last 90 days, it's a pretty wide range. If, if we click the save dashboard, you will see an option say set current time range at dashboard default or set current variable values at dashboard default. So we, we are just focusing on the time range. So we take this option and save. Now it's 90 days range. Now let's come back to the, the share link and the refresh. You can see it's pretty wide. So it's 90 days. Okay, now we can add this link to the application. So let's look into the code base. Now we can remove this iframe, the huge iframe from the web page. You see here, this one, all in one. Dashboard is not needed anymore. And in the QR code column, I'll change it to metrics. I have already put a template here Let's uncomment it out and then replace the link. Actually, you can see it's the same one. Okay, I, you can just do the same. And uh, I have already exposed the token to the client side, I, so we can simply use scope row token to put the token or hash in the share link. Now let's refresh the page. We can see the metrics link. We let's open the first three. One, two, three. First one end with M eight, so it's M eight. It matches. So if we see these three metrics, they are all different. So this is how we can create a short URL specific metrics so that users can track and then measure the performance. Okay, I'm not embedding them into the short URL specific page. It can be refactored. I'm going to do it offline. But in this video, I'm just going to introduce you how we can use GraphNet to generate such dashboard. Okay, I think that's it for today. In next video, it's very likely that I'm going to get rid of the UI framework element plus. It's good, but I feel there's a lot of, there are a lot of things I need to add, but uh, element plus cannot easily support. So yeah, see you in the next one. Okay, if you, are free, if you feel it's useful, feel free to sub subscribe to the channel, thumbs up and ring the bell. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.